Korea's rival political parties failed to make a breakthrough during today's uh, trilateral meeting with the representatives for the families of victims of the April ferry disaster, crushing hopes for an end to the months-long political gridlock in the National Assembly. Our Chi myung has more. The months-long parliamentary gridlock is showing no signs of easing. Floor leaders of the country's two main rival parties have been holding meetings throughout Monday, including a trilateral meeting with representatives of the bereaved families, but with no results. It is unclear whether the main opposition, New Politics Alliance for Democracy, will attend Tuesday's plenary session, which was adjourned last week by the Assembly Speaker. The ruling Senator Party has said it will go ahead with legislating some 90 draft bills during the session and will not accept any more delays. Yes, we will open Tuesday's plenary session and it's the Assembly Speaker's authority. Hopes were running high throughout the day as both rival parties conveyed their willingness to bring an end to the current parliamentary impasse. The main opposition party's interim chief, Moon Hee's Hang, had asked for high-level talks with his ruling party counterpart, but has not received a response. The main opposition party plans to open a caucus of its party lawmakers Monday night to decide on whether to participate in Tuesday's plenary session and how to negotiate with the ruling party on fixing the upcoming parliamentary schedule, which includes government audits, an interpolation session, and next year's government budget. Chim Young-gil, Arirang News.